All right, folks, now we're on to the Sony W8CH, Sony W8CH710N. These are the over the ear headphones from Sony that I said that were deeply, deeply discounted. These are kind of on par with the Beats, as I said. These have the active noise cancelization. You can connect a whole bunch of different ways. You've got the wired cable in there. You've got playback of 35 hours. You've got fast charging 10 minutes, get you an hour. Hands-free calling, voice assistant for all your assistants. And then obviously USB type C. It does have an additional connection. You can connect the device via NFC, which is pretty cool. Let's go ahead and open it up for you guys. <laughs> this is the most difficult. Here we go. There we go. Now it's out. You got a box inside of a box inside of a box. This will allow me to open it up from the top so you can see it while everything falls out below. Okay, you've got the headphones themselves. They're a little heavy. They feel a little hefty. You got your documentation and your cords. No ear tips because obviously you don't need it. Here are your documents. I did want to show you that it, it can go wired, which is probably one of the best features of all of these. Leave that in the box. And there you are. 35 millimeter to 35 millimeter. The only down, down draw is I don't think it connects with the microphone, which is okay. I think it'll do it digitally and then you've got USB type C. Here are the headphones themselves. There is no case. Take the tape off. Interesting. They don't break down like the, the beats do. Looks like your microphone's right there. It does feel a little cheap. These aren't as good a build quality as as the Beats. The Beats feel like they're made of aluminum and metal. This These ear cushions do not feel the same. I feel they, they, they are nowhere near as high a quality as the Beats. You've got your connections here, your charger, your quarter, 3.5 millimeter, and then over here is your volume rockers and your noise cancelization and the enter button. All right, so let's uh, let's go ahead and try them on. Which way is right? They do have some really good articulation, which I like. I'm always down for articulation. Let's try them on here for the first time. Okay, so just like th these are definitely over the ear as opposed to the Beats by Dre Solo Pros. Those are definitely just a full cushioned uh, ear set. These definitely go over your ear. However, I am noticing something really annoying. I can feel the inside of the earmuff. There, there's something here, whether it's the sound driver, whether it's the technology, there's something protruding. You can see it there. That is like irritating my ear just on the offset. It's on both sides. So interesting. I don't like that. Other than that, I do think they look slicker. I like I like how it like curved hard hooks onto my ears. They definitely feel like these are winter earmuffs that go over your ears. There is some support up top, whereas the Beats did not. The Beats were definitely hard and that's something that I could notice. There was no support on the top of my head. But these do these do feel these do feel pretty good. I mean for half $100 cheaper or maybe $80 cheaper than the Beats. With the sale, they're $100 cheaper than the Beats retail, but that's not too bad. I'm not I'm not complaining. I need to get these charged up and then we can we can listen to them and go out and test them out. You do have your NFC point right here where you can just tap your phone and it will connect. I really like this corded option. I really do. I mean, that might be my deal breaker for keeping these. It depends on the drivers and the sound profile. But actually, because we've got this, I should be able to hear it right now. Oh, wait, I can't. I need to have a wired phone. Okay, I'll pull out my other my old phone that has a headphone jack. I like how light they feel on your head. They did initially feel heavy, but they're light. They're definitely light for 
you know, a battery and all the Sony drivers. Okay, we're plugged in and now I'm going to I'm going to listen to some music. Okay, whoa. Okay, I like that. It came in super clear, super swift. That bass driver's a little soft. I'm about 80%. Now I'm getting to about 90% and that's when it's starting to get a little punchy. I don't know if it's active noise canceling right now. I feel like it is. Based on me yelling. But it, it does sound good. It's not beats, I'm telling you. There is distinction in the different profiles of the sound that you can hear. You can definitely hear your mid-tones, your bass in your beats. But here, it's all muddled. I feel like the EQ is a little muddled here. And I feel like there's some sound that's escaping. I don't get this, like, all-around sound around me. I just feel like it's targeted right into my ears. That's That's sounding real good. Yeah, this is not bad. I mean, for $88, this is a steal. I wouldn't spend $200 for this. But having that cord is so great. But I, I also can't escape the feeling that this thing is just scratching my ear. It's, it's, a, it's irritating. I mean, my ears do kind of poke out, but that thing inside there is just itching. What is that? That is... I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Okay. The high tones of the snapping of the fingers are, are a little dry. I'm not trying to say that I'm an audiophile or know what I'm talking about, but there, there isn't that, that fluidity in the sound from when, from when you can hear the bass hit and then the higher tones of the melody come across. It's very, very muddled. And I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm getting some feedback as well. I don't know why. It's just not clear. It's not as clear. Let's try something else. Okay, there's no adjustment that I can do on the uh, on the headset itself. This is as loud as it gets, and this isn't that loud. I feel like I'm not getting the all-encompassing sound that you typically get from Sony. So this this model is I don't think this is their best bet. This is cheaply made, and I don't feel like they they've put a lot that they should into their sound profile that they do with the other Sony high-end wireless headsets. All right, my final verdict with these Sonys. I'm not even going to try to, uh, to to say the name of the of the Sony. So uh, the price is huge. $88 is very, very good for a set of $170 headphones. But my issue is the ergonomics. These are not ergonomic. These do not feel good. You can't listen to them on the couch you can't listen to them laying down they move around they do give you some good support here if you're walking to school if you're headed to you know work if you're on your longboard if you're on your bike they do give you over the ear you know very very strong um clampage but the clamps have these weird the clamps have these weird things that just protrude out that rub your ear i got a sore on my ear, believe it or not. I could show you, but I don't know if you want to look in the inside of my ear. I don't recommend these, even at the price point that they're at. I don't think they're worth it. It's not worth the itching all the time. No amount of money is worth that. So no, do not get this product. It is not good. With that said, folks, uh, Andy with Andy Vlogs, signing out.